After a full day of fun and games with my daughter here and my three dogs, there's only one of them pictured here, it's finally time for me to get to work on Blender. Lily is in bed and I have decided that I would like to model um, an old wooden chair. I've done a sort of a modernish office chair and I want to try doing something like this. I don't know about materials and textures uh, but we're going to have our work cut out for us uh, just doing the modeling itself. So that's what we're going to focus on right now. And it's not going to look exactly like this. This is just uh, this is just the concept. And so what I did was I drew um, the parts for this chair. Um, I took some liberties. I sort of designed them my own way. But, you know, looking at that chair is a sort of an idea and trying to emulate some of the curves. <laughs> Uh, and I didn't do a great job, but uh, I'm going to make this diagram available for anybody who wants to uh, follow along with this. So just uh, click on the link uh, in the information section and you can get this, this diagram as well. And um, I'm going to bring it into Blender here. So all I've done is I've deleted the, the uh, camera, the lamp, and the default cube uh, in Blender. I've switched over to Cycles Render and I've switched to GPU compute here and I brought in this background image by hitting N on the side panel clicking in this box here for background images I switched the axis to just front and um, I hit open okay open wherever open is there it is and I found the image and I just put it in there I, I didn't center anything I just it, that's where it showed up I've got my screencast keys on, and if you zoom in, the diagram gets uh, clearer and clearer because it's pretty big. And so we are going to uh, model the parts uh, using this as a reference image. And I think I'm going to start with one of these side pieces that would go right here. All right, this thing here. I'm going to model it straight, and then we'll, we'll, we'll copy it, and then we'll, we'll angle it over uh, eventually. And so, uh, in order to do this, and there are different ways of doing this, but the way that I would like to do this is, first of all, slide this along, zoom in so this is going to be roughly centered. My 3D cursor is, was at the center of my stage, and I'm just moving the image uh, so that I get a position that I like. We'll try 2.6. No, that's not the direction I want to be going in. So I want to be going 2.7. There's 2.8, so I'm going to go 2.75. And that's close enough. So I'm going to hit N to close the side panel. And we're going to start on, on this. The way I'm going to do this is uh, laying down vertices along uh, one side to trace out the profile of this. And then I'm going to use the screw modifier over here. We're going to end up with a very high poly model. Uh, but that's okay. I do not feel like using cylinders to do this. I find it'll be much easier to do it uh, this way. So uh, with my 3D cursor right there, and I'm ready to go, I'm going to go Shift A, Mesh Plane. Rotate X90, go into Edit Mode, and make sure I'm on Vertex Selection, which you can do down here, or Control Tab, Vertex, and I'm going to go Alt M, Merge those points at the center. So I just have one point, they're all merged. I'm going to pull this up to the very top on the Z axis here and zoom in. And that's fine. And we're not going to follow this exactly. We're going to get something that looks hopefully nice and rounded and cool. And it doesn't matter to me if it's not the exact chair. I'm going to turn off the transform tool or gizmo here so it's not in the way. And um, although you can control and click to lay down vertices, I don't do it that often. I tend to go E to extrude, G to grab, and I just pull. Now I'm moving in the X axis, so I'll go straight out. So I hit a constraint to X by hitting X, and I'll stop there. And then I'm going to create this curve by just laying down vertices and pulling and pulling and pulling. Later on, we'll add a subdivision surface so we're to look a little bit smoother than it might uh, while I'm doing this. Again, it's going to be a lot of points, but I don't care about that. All right, so here I go. E, G, E, G, E, G, just like that. E and G like that. And then when I get to here, I'll go E, G, and I'll bring it in, and then I'll come out. Again, we'll see how sharp that is. If it's, if it's too sharp, we'll, we'll do something about that. E and G. E, G, and Z, and I'll come straight down. Whoops. G, Z, 
and we'll come straight down here. What do we do here? All right, I'll take those two points and I'm going to scale them to make them, um, here, I'll bring back the transform tool. On the x-axis, I guess they're a little bit off, so I'm going to go SX0. Now I'll straighten that out and let's go back to this. Okay, get rid of that. EG, 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 to there, and I'll come out. EG. Oh, what did I do? Did I, hit, did I get one? Yeah, I got one. EG. I'm just going roughly in the middle of the block. I made it nice and thick for you. And for me. Start rounding it out. All right, what to do here? I'm not sure. I'll come down a little bit more. BG. Now uh, we'll just come out. Uh, what did I do? Did I get one? Yeah. Again, it doesn't have to look exactly like the diagram or exactly like the real chair. We're just doing this to get something that looks kind of cool and have some fun. Uh, go there. I'll come back in there. G. Nope. G. Eh, that one's a bit weird, so let's pull that in. All right, that's fine. Coming back out for this curve and then down. E and G. to do one side because we're going to use the screw modifier which is like lathing it all around so that'll be very cool now we'll put a subdivision surface on it touch it up and we'll, we're going to use that same technique again uh, for uh, for some of it anyhow all right let's see maybe more let's come right down to there It's just fun to do. I'm not concentrating too hard on this, I'm not counting how many points I'm using for each curve, just just doing it. Oh good, we're almost at the end, awesome. I'll come back, we'll come, I can come all the way down to there. Uh, yeah, and this is gonna be go on, uh, really come right into the chair, so I'm just going to, uh, I can make maybe just bring it right back in. All right, I'm trying to end roughly on that Z axis. So what I'm gonna do is with that one selected, I am gonna come way up to the top, that one at the bottom selected, I'm gonna shift and click that one. So the, the top and the bottom are selected, all right? And I just want them on the Z axis. Although I'm probably gonna be deleting these points, so this is probably not that important, but I'm gonna come up here with N, open N, right up to the top on the X axis. I want them on the uh, X axis, zero. That's fine. Uh, okay, cool, come out and N to close that. So I've got the profile here. It doesn't look too nice yet, but when I add the um, screw modifier, and I don't freak out, it's not going to look like that. We're going to switch this axis here to Y, and then you'll start seeing it, but let's wait. Let's put on a subdivision surface and watch the polys go nuts. I'm going to put two, okay? And that is what we get. Let's just move around like that. It's a nice piece, all right? Now, this part is going to go into the chair, so it's not even going to really matter whether it's rounded, but I'm actually going to delete that point right there X vertices and it'll go like that. All right, I don't need that closed anyhow. That part, the top, I do want. Sometimes there's a little point there, but there isn't on this case. So I'm gonna save that and that is good. Now, do I apply it? Let me think. I think I'm probably gonna apply the screw. I don't think I'm gonna spend time touching this up at all. All right, so let's just go apply and back to front view and that piece is done. Awesome. 
Uh, let's take that and hit M with it selected and move it right to there. All right, so that piece is moved. We got it saved and we can come back to it. Uh, let's use that technique again to do the leg of the chair. So I'm going to move my background image. I really don't have to do that. I could just move the 3D cursor over there, but I will do it this way anyhow. All right, so let's slide this along. And that's pretty darn good. And to close that. And we're gonna do the same thing. Shift A, mesh plane, uh, rotate X90, go to edit mode, Alt M, merge the vertices. And I can just go GZ and move it up instead of using the transform tool. All right, and we're ready to go. So let's do it. E, G, X, G, X, that didn't work. E, G, let's come straight down to here. Let's zoom in now. And uh, I'll come down a little bit further, E, G, and we'll just go around the curve, E, G. One more time and then we'll head down, E, G. I'm gonna come out a little bit sharp like that. So I to, well actually not that much, like that. Just like this. I don't know how sharp that is. Let me come right down to here. Um, now, now. I'll do it as one piece. I sometimes stop and, and do separate pieces. I'm gonna do it, I'll do it all as one piece. It'll be easier. It may not look as sharp. I'll come out a bit sharp though, and we'll just start. It'll look just fine. I hope it'll look just fine, and I think it will. I believe it will. Come down here, and then we'll make our way down here. So this is what we do. Uh, get up pretty early with my daughter. And uh, we go to the beach. Well, I live in uh, Atlantic Canada, and uh, there's a lot of beaches and uh, what do you call them? Ports, wharfs, whatever. Places along the, the water, close to the ocean. And, uh, you know, as long as the weather's nice, the dogs like to get out. And uh, I like to get her out in the sunshine as much as possible, and me to get out in the sunshine and you know tires are out and teach her about boats and shells and crabs and stuff like that so that's what we do pretty much uh, every day if we can and then um you know by nighttime <laughs> i'm pretty pretty tuckered out but uh i want to i want to work on my my hobbies i mean i'd love to be doing music that's really uh what i started youtube doing and then i did a lot of teaching um, uh, science you know the high school uh, videos and then I got uh, I got into Blender, and I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to move this back, and this may not look exactly the same. Uh, but uh, you know, I I just try to try to keep busy. I'm retired from teaching. I I, uh, I did that for a long time, and now it's me and my wife and three dogs and uh, our daughter Lily, and we got another baby on the way, and that is the way it goes. The blender is quieter than music. And it's a lot of fun. And so that's that's what we're doing. Thanks, by the way, for coming and checking out my videos. I appreciate that. I don't get a lot of views and a lot of subscribers. But, uh, I'm doing this for fun. And if it helps you out, then, then great. I mean, you know, maybe it's the teaching bug uh, in me that uh, I want to contribute. And so if I can, I will. I'm just, you know, uh, I, uh, my skills are only so developed uh, I don't I don't have a, a, a lot of time for for blender but uh, I do really enjoy it and I'm glad I didn't have to pay for it I would have I would pay for, I would pay for it for sure but uh, it's awesome um, I don't know what I'm doing here exactly actually you know what I think I want these kind of straight so I'm gonna come down straight right here. I'll curve it in one, and I'm gonna come E, G, X, and I'm gonna come back, G, X, come on. Back to that point, just like we did before, because it's the leg of a chair, we'll see. 
All right, so I got that point selected and then come up here and I'm gonna shift and click that point N and let's zero these out. See, they're not exactly zero. So press zero, enter, they move a little bit. And there's my profile N to close that. Let's use the screw modifier, but in the Z, in the uh, Y axis, sorry, and subdivision surface of two. And let's just have a look at that. And that becomes my leg. Now, here's the thing. If I wanted to, I could go, then I'll go in the front view. I could go back in here and I could say, there's that point, by the way. Let's, let's focus in on that. Let's go into wireframe. And there's that other point there. I mean, I can, I'll go out of wireframe. Out. There, put the transform to. I can manipulate these points if I want, still. I can do stuff like this. Or, or I can go ahead and apply the screw modifier and then I can come in and I can put in an edge loop if I feel that would be necessary. So I'll do that there and I'll do one below just to show that you can obviously do that. You know, and especially when you see um, with the subdivision surface, this white area where sort of non-distinct uh, area as the polys are being pulled and stuff like that. It can help to put in edge loops uh, by all means, so just to show. But I'm I'm okay with this kind of bubbly look. Um, this part will go on the ground. In fact, let's have a look down here. That's fine for the bottom. It's so small. And this part is going to go into the top of the chair. And I, I could have just let's say if I delete that vertex. No, that does that. Okay, so they're not all. Um, if I really cared, I could. Um, select all these and delete these faces and I can put even an edge loop here I don't know why I said I wasn't going to do that uh, because this is going to connect into the chair anyhow okay I'm not applying the subdivision surface so let's look back in one and we've done that piece as well we're also going to use the same technique to do this one we might mirror this, do half of it, and mirror it and join it, and then, or copy it even. That's probably a good idea. So let's move this M, and we'll move it also to the other layer. But I guess they're going to be on top of each other, aren't they? So I'll just move that one aside a little bit. Okay, so let's do the same thing. Uh, let's move our background image. Six, five, six, four, good enough. Shift A, mesh plane, rotate X90, vertex, Alt M, merge at center, pull it up. Zoom in. Okay, get rid of the transform tool. Now this piece right here, this leg support, I'll show you where it's gonna go. It's this one here, all right? And it's gonna go into th these pieces. And I may use, for these pieces, I might use just more of this because I didn't design a separate one. So I'll just have one here, two, three, all the same. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so here we go. Doesn't really have to be that rounded here. It's gonna start, it'll be sticking into the other part. We'll do it anyhow. But I'm not sure how much is gonna show. Let's go there. Oops. I didn't necessarily mean to do that. We'll, we'll just, uh, I'll come down a little bit further and I'll just come out. And we'll just come down, E, G, Z will come down straight, G, Z. I'll come around here, where am I? So I wanna go to about halfway to maybe about this line.
Okay, E, G, Z. No, we're not doing those right exactly. It's gonna go to there, and then we'll copy it down. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to bring this point into this line and then select both and and, and all that. You'll see what I mean. I can just do that and add the screw modifier in the y-axis. Uh, we'll add a subdivision surface. Although I can do that later. Okay, and with that, just like that, I think I'll go. Um, Let me see if that's good. Maybe I will go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and apply the screw modifier. And then I'm just going to, with this uh, geometry to origin, or origin of geometry, I don't know if I want. I'm going to go Shift D, uh, rotate Y 180, bring it down. And we'll just try to match the diagram. Where is it? It's about there, right? So again, I'm not worried that this piece doesn't look like that. I'm just we're just having fun here, whatever. Um, let's go ahead and join these, and then we'll uh, in uh, in edit mode we'll shift alt and click that edge, or roll vertices and that one, and we'll go control E, bridge edge loops, and what with that done. Um, I don't think I don't know if we should get rid of all these. I want to X. Uh, dissolve edges, but I'm gonna take this one and you know what? I might want another one. Sometimes you need extra support when you put a subdivision surface on. All right, so I mean, do we want to put edge loops in here? Do we want to do this stuff? Even that. Well, we've done it now, haven't we? Do we need one? Do we need one here? Nobody's going to see this detail, but, uh, okay, there's that piece. Okay, cool. Okay, let's take that. Let's move that also to this layer. And I'll just move it out there. All right, so those are my pieces uh, so far back into the first layer. Very good. All right. Now I need to think about how I want to create this. I think I'm going to use a very similar technique, but I'm not going to use the screw modifier. But I'm just going to lay out some points though. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Rotate X90. Yeah, that's good enough. Different ways to do it. Maybe even easier ways, but I don't care. EGX. GX. EG. Let's head. Maybe there. E G. E G. E G. E G. Maybe I don't want it too sharp though. What we'll do, what will we do? I don't know. I 
Let's do um, E, G, X, G, X. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, let's zero these out. Maybe I'll join them and hit F to make a face there. Is that what I wanted to do? SX0. Yeah, it just felt like it wasn't straight. Um, I want to... I'm not sure what I want to do here for this. Um, I'm just thinking I want it in quads. Yeah, maybe I won't do that. Ah, uh, well, all right. This is maybe a stupid way of doing things. Uh, if I, uh, w subdivide, I'll get a point, and I think what I'll do is I'm going to switch over to snapping and vertex, and uh, I'll put on my transform tool, and I'll just go, uh, go Z, and I'll snap to that position. I'll do another one, and I'll show you what I mean, and then I'll take this one, and I'll go W, subdivide that. I'll put a new vertex in here. And okay, I can do it, uh, you know, do this by, well, I've got snapping on. I want it at the same height as this one. I want it right here, but exactly across. So I'm gonna move it in the Z, but I move over and I curse over this one, and it'll draw a circle, and that means they're at the same height. And what that will do is that will give me the ability to select that one, that one, that one, and that one, and go F to make a face. This one, this one, this one, and this one. I have to make a face, and I'll try to keep it quads. So, so I'm going to take this one and this one. I'm going to go W, subdivide, and I'll take this point and I'll uh, just move it up and I'll snap to there. So I can take all these points and make a face, and I'll subdivide again. Deselect, grab that one, bring it up to that level, so I can get these ones. This one and this one, W, subdivide. Take this one, this one, and move it up to that level. And face. Okay, so we have some issues here. Let's uh, turn off slapping and just adjust this so they're separated out a bit more. And uh, yeah, I am gonna, I am gonna bring this down. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, select these two, W, subdivide, and take just that point, and we'll put snapping on, and we'll snap it to that one, in the right place. I hope so, doesn't really matter anyhow. That one, subdivide, up to that one, face, Between those two, snap it to there. And we'll see if I need more points in there or whatever. A uh, big one, let's just do it. Okay. Let's just have a look at that. Okay. Let's just uh, have a look at it. With, well, subdivision surface is going to go a little bit weird. Uh, without any edge, with any support, but I think that's going to be just fine. So I'll take that off for now. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go into edit mode. And, ah, oh, geez, man, do I want to just mirror this thing? So what I'll do is I'll take snapping off and I will, um, my origin and everything is right there. So let's just go ahead. Let's just mirror like that and uh, not there. There, okay, so we are kind of weird, that's okay. And uh, put clipping on, and let's see if I can get this to happen better. Mm, actually, no, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and I'll apply, 
I'm just going to go ahead and apply that and I'm going to go in and I'm going to select all this control L so I can uh, select what's linked and I'm going to go in a wireframe I'm just going to pull this all up until it's roughly the position I want it and I'll do just what I did before select that edge and that edge and control E um, oh geez, I can just merge points if I wanted to I suppose I can take those two go alt M merge at center merge at center merge at center and I can get rid of this edge but I'm gonna need some support so I'm just gonna take it down here I'm gonna bring that up there and I'm gonna need more but anyways, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take this piece, if that was a long way around, I'm going to go E, and I'm going to extrude it out like this. I don't know how thick right now I want to make it, I'm going to be, but I'm going to be doing that. Let's tr go ahead and try subdivision surface and see what we need to do for this. I'm going to hit smoothing as well. All right, so for sure I'm going to come up to the top here, and I'm going to drag an edge loop up here. I could possibly get rid of that face later. And I may even need another edge loop up there. One down near there. And let's see how she looks. It's getting close to what I want anyhow. I, I want something in here though. Um, I don't know. First of all, that's a long piece to go without any support. So I'm going to do two here like this. And I... I'm going to do some along this side here, and that might be good enough. I'll do two. I'll just go like that, and then I'll go scale in the Y, and we'll pull them out equally. Not right to the end. That. And that is the shape that I'm going to go with for this. And I'm not going to bother getting rid of the end faces right now. Okay. So that's, that's it. Good. I'm going to be doing something very similar for this. And I'm even, I just want to do something. I just did shifty and I copied that over because I'm looking at this and I'm seeing this. And I'm starting to ask myself if I can just use that. Let's move this though to that same layer over here and just position it somewhere else. Actually, just because this is fun, why don't I just do this? It might look even cooler. Okay, on that second layer there, why not put them in the right place and then it doesn't look so strange every time. Why didn't I do that before? There we go. Now we, now we know what we got. All right, we know what we got. Back to the first layer now. Is this a stupid idea or is it a good idea? Have I already mucked it up because I got too much stuff? Yeah, let's just redo it. Let's do something else. All right, let's get rid of that. Okay, so... Uh, All right, I don't have to move it. I will move it though. I will, I will move it because it's the way I work. And I'll just do anything that is reasonable to get it in, do I want it that much centered? Sort of, yeah. Okay, so what am I gonna do here? Something that's really similar, right? And simple, yep. Rotate X90. Now, would you prefer if I did stuff like this? Edit mode, wireframe, vertex, box select, this kind of thing. I mean, I could, well, I'll put another one in. I mean, we can do that too, I suppose. I just put in a few. way to have done it in the first place but we don't always do things the easy way do we I think this would have been a little bit easier well then I'm glad I'm doing it now um, let's uh, this one's gonna come in well they're both gonna come in aren't they Rotate Y 180. That was dumb. Rotate Z. Was it 90? No. Rotate Z 180. 
Hmm. Silly, silly. All right, whatever. I guess. Uh, box. Oh, what have I done? Box select. Doesn't matter where I where I merge them really. I'm just gonna I'm just go from there. here that's four four here because we are going to be bending this so we'll, we'll see uh, if that's going to be enough e. let's select it all and go control n because some of my polys were flipped down here now first of all let's uh, let's save let's set origin to geometry Let's have a look at the diagram. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and add a subdivision surface and see how, how she would take that. Yeah, okay. So let's just um, do this thing. Uh, two edge loops, scale it in the Y. I want this relatively sharp. Okay. And these pieces are just gonna go into the uh, sides those side supports. I'll do this. Let's straighten them out. Not worried about what they look like on the ends, but okay. That piece is all right, but we're going to have to bend it, like I say. So we're going to check that out in just a second. Front view. The only thing we haven't done is the seat. Let's go ahead and move this to the other layer. And uh, what's going on here? Oh, I moved the background image, that's why. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, well, that's totally fine. I got my pieces there. So now the seat, let's do that. How am I doing that? That's the question. Well, you know, okay. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna be using lattice, I think, to bend this. Am I? Or a curve? I'm gonna use a lattice to bend this. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So uh, why did I open this? Oh yeah, I'm moving the background image. Really doesn't matter to make something so simple as the seat. But I'll do it, I'll just do it. You know, I don't even know how central I can get it anyhow. It's just to get in the vicinity. Okay, let's, um, let's try with a cube in edit mode. Let's scale this in the X. Okay, we'll go with the wireframe as well. And uh, I think I will move the background image. Okay, so 283, five, no, wrong way. Just to get it pretty close, okay. box select there and pull it up to here and box select here and pull it down to there and let's just think for a second well I'm gonna go uh, side view actually there's the top oh, where's the where's the from the, from the front yeah this is a problem because I'm working in a weird for, for the chair it goes this way you know so you look you look down on it so I'm gonna take the whole thing and let's uh, rotate X90. Okay, so if you look down on it, there it is. Okay, let's scale this into Z. So it looks like that. Okay, so if I look down, I don't see it anymore. Let's go ahead and, and change the background image from a front to top just while we work on this. And uh, we'll move it. Okay, so there, yeah, like that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go control R and I'm just going to throw in a bunch of edge loops like that 
I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to throw in a bunch of edge loops just to just give it a bunch of geometry, go out of wireframe. And let's try, I mean, a subdivision surface uh, right away will, uh, you know, round it up a bit. Okay, but I don't want to do that yet. What I'll do is I'll go Shift S, a cursor selected. I guess it's already there. Let's try a lattice. Shift A, lattice. Scale this in the Y. I want my lattice, which is this box-like thing, to be just, um, just bigger than my object. So I want it to encompass as nice and snug as it can. That's not a big, big deal. Scale that in the X. Okay, just like that, and scale in the Z. And just position it so it encompasses uh, that like that. So top view there and uh, front view is like that, okay? Okay, so let's look from the top, okay. And wireframe, so, okay, so here's what, we, what I want to do is I, first of all, I want to bend it in. And I didn't have to do it this way, but I will um, in, in solid view again, just for the moment. Uh, so this is the lattice and it's okay as it is. Um, I can put more divisions if I look at it over here, um, which way do I want there? If I want that, I can, I can do more divisions like that. I'm gonna leave it for now. What I'm gonna do is select my object Okay, come over to the modifiers, choose add modifier, lattice, and under the object, choose lattice. There, that's all that's done. Now, select the lattice, and doing from the top, let's say, I can do it in wireframe as well. I'll go into edit mode of the lattice, and I'm going to select this point and this point, this point, and this point. So the end points. All right, and I'm going to scale in the X, and that's going to scale my object as well. Here, let's do it in solid view. All right, see, it's going to, it moves my object. Now, if I do put a subdivision surface on uh, the object itself, I'll say two and, and smooth, you can, you start to see uh, how it's, how it's going. Let's look at this wireframe. Okay. Now, I don't seem to have those curves, and I'm not sure that I care that much. Let's, let me have a look at what I got in my lattice. I could pull those up as well, couldn't I? What if I was to grab these points, I pulled them in, and what if I now pull them up? All right, that's, that's not bad. Do I have one down here? I don't have another point here. Well, let's grab these two, though, of the lattice. Pull it down like that. All right, I could put another one there if I really cared. I'm just, I'm just manipulating these a bit. Let's see how it's starting to take shape. Okay, we got that, so we're gonna get it to bulge out now. So I think I will go back to my lattice. And here, I'm going to put another division there on my lattice. Let's click that. And I'll go back into the lattice in edit mode. I'll grab those two points there and those points. It's a lot like proportional editing, I guess. Um, do I want, though, and can I even, oh, in the lattice, can I even, no, there is no, um, I just didn't know if I could select all these points and zero them out at all. Scale Y zero. Yeah, I don't know why I just feel like that might be helpful, but we'll try it. Not that one. Okay, top view. Let's scale in the X, pull it out like that. Yeah, like that. And again, it doesn't have to look exactly like the diagram. I can't even see the diagram underneath it anyhow. Top view, let's go to wireframe though. Okay, let's uh, scale in the X. Let's try that. Okay, cool. Let's box select there and box select there. Make sure I got, yeah, I got them all. And if I just pull it up like this, no, it's going to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm going to do that. Scale in the X a little bit. 
that. I'm going to put another one there. I'm going to see. You know, look. Let's see. It, it, it'll work. It'll work for us uh, eventually. Okay, cool. Love it. All right, let's do another. Uh, let's put another one in here. All right. There's that one. Let's get out of wireframe. Let's get into there and let's grab these points. Let's just look top down in box select and wireframe. A little tough to see, so I'm just going to hide that for the moment. It might be easier. Let's box select all these. Uh, let's go scale Y0. Then let's go Alt H. Uh, I guess I can get it over here. Alt H. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And let's go back into here. And we'll box select all of these. And I'm going to pull them up to here. And I got scale in the X. We'll scale the whole thing like that. There we go. We'll do that. And we'll box select these ones. We'll pull them back. We'll scale in the axe a little bit. Okay. And box select uh, these ones here and I'll pull them forward. Like that. And I'll box select all of them and I'll pull them back. And that might be what I'm going for for the time being uh, for my chair before I go. Let's hide that. All right. So it's gotten a little weird, but that's okay. Let's go into it. And let's um, add some edge loops. I'll do two like this and I'll scale in the Z. Okay, there's that. And I think I wanted a bit thicker scale in the Z. And I'll go back in one more time and I'll scale these in the Z. Just a tiny bit more sharper. And that is going to be the seat. Um, do I care about these bumps here? No, I don't. I, I kind of like that effect for the time being. It is what it is. And so what I need to do is... Um, just look at this for a second. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go with it. So what you do is you select your object back to the modifier and you apply with the lattice and I'm going to actually just delete the lattice and there's my there's my seat right there okay and so what we could do is we could start to build this all right so let's do that let's um so for front view I see the back right so let's rotate this rotate z 180 all right so faces frontwards let's put right right in the middle there Okay, let's go to the second layer, and let's take um, let's take the chair leg. Let's move this to the first layer. It's possible this needs to be a bit thicker. Let's now get rid of that grid display. Okay, and let's look at uh, another image. Okay, so they're going to be angled like that a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and angle them a little bit. Um, uh, let's rotate in the Y like this and Pull it out. How far out does that go? It's under a little ways, obviously. All right, well, we could try this. We'll put that there, and I'll select the seat. Shift-S cursor to select it. Make sure the 3D cursor is there, and then I'll select this piece, and I'll mirror it. We'll use the eyedropper with respect to that cross there. Now, they obviously don't just go like that. I think they, they angle forward as well, forward and backwards, don't they? It's hard to tell. I'm trying to rotate this. We'll see. Uh, let's uh, let's try. Can I do this in the Y? Uh, yeah. All right. And then uh, obviously those ones are going to be a bit different. 
So I don't think I'll do that yet. Oh, didn't want to get rid of the whole thing. Just don't need the Y for now. And let me have another look at this. Yeah, it's not that high here, so I'm thinking these will go more like that, or even that. I'm just gonna leave it like that for a second and I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do about it. Let's try bringing in this piece here. Two of these. This is also going to be angled, rotating the Y. I'm not going to worry about the exact angle right now. Let's try mirroring that and seeing how it's starting to look out. that they're gonna go there I think do I have another picture set up for this yeah I do somewhere else but these are forward compared to those there's a bit of a curve for all of it but these are forward and then this one is the furthest back and then these two and then these two so uh, this one is you know somewhat back there and then uh, there'll be others now. Are they angled? Just a little bit, eh? Well, the first one's like that. And it seems a little bit wide to me. Unless, unless we go into here, select that, and push it out a little bit further, both of them. And we'll see. Let's just try Shifty moving one over here and a little bit forward. And uh, they have to rotate a bit. They do rotate a bit. Let's try rotate Z like this. I hope that's gonna work out. Let's mirror this. And then we can change the size of some of these things if we want to. We can angle these more so there's more room as well. I'll do that. And I'll take these, push them forward a bit. We'll just have to make sure that the top piece um, contacts properly. All right, so let's now go in here and I'm gonna take that and it's gonna push it down. I'll do it on that one as well. That's fine. Let's go ahead and mirror these in the back just to get a sense. Oh yeah, that's right, we can't do that. So let's Shift D, let's copy them back here. Select one and bring it in. Okay. And let's try rotating these backwards a bit uh, around the X, rotate X uh, like this. shift to see what that kind of looks like okay move 
move them back. Let's have a look where they're positioned if I can. Okay, it might need to be angled more. as you can see. I'm going to rotate these in the Y a little bit more. And if I was in the front view, it can pretty much match the back, the back legs. I'm going to pull them out a bit. And I'm also going to rotate these in the X, rotate in the X like this. Stick. All right, let's uh, let's have a look at that back piece. Where to go? All right, so oh yeah, we got this thing. Eh? All right, let's do this piece. Uh, move, move on over. Okay, so let's take you and let's rotate, rotate Y ninety. I just want to look at this for a second. So where it's going to go is these pieces here are going to attach to here. And so this needs to go here. We'll go ahead and bend this and then we'll look at, at uh, angling everything a bit more. Okay, so how do I want to bend this? How do I want to bend this? I'm thinking about just going with a lattice again. Let's try that. Shift S, cursor selected to bring in my lattice at that point. Scale this in the X. It's just beyond there. Like that, scale it to Z. And I'll move it down here. All right, and we'll scale it in the Y. Let's scale it in the Y a bit more. It's probably fine. And for this lattice, let's go into it and add another one where, not there, no, right here. And that might be good enough. Let's, let's give it a try. Let's select our main object and in modifiers, let's add the lattice and choose object lattice because we deleted the other one and go into the lattice and select, uh, let's box select those points. I mean, I could just bring the back back instead. Might be easier, box select all those points. And let's try swinging it back and seeing how well it holds its form. Hmm, is this the way we wanted to do it? I'm gonna try this and then I'm also gonna try box selecting those and those and scaling the X. And now it's just gonna do that, isn't it? Mm. Said we'd have to scale, but you know, honestly, we simply could scale in the X. We really could do that and um, position this. You know, basically, it would go like like that, and I I can move all these things, and it would look just fine. And I think that's what we're going to do. So let's do this, okay? Let's go in. Notice it's out of the lattice, but it's fine. It's being affected by the lattice. So let's just go uh, rotate in the Y. 
let's pull them like this. Let's try that for the moment. Let's try bringing this down and back. Okay, we're starting to get what I wanted. Let's scale in the X a little bit more. Um, let's scale it in the Y. No, it's gonna change the position a bit, but that's fine. This kind of idea, okay. Scale it in the Z, all right. Not quite that much, like this. I'm liking that. Might want it a bit thicker, we'll see. I might pull it back a little bit. So it joins nicely to here. I'm gonna scale it in the Z a little bit more. I'm gonna pull it down on the time. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I think that's all right. And then I'm just gonna deal with, uh, actually, I think these need to go out. I take it back. I think this piece needs to go out further like this. Well, not necessarily, but I think it looks better on my chair. And that may affect, yeah, that'll affect this, this whole thing again. So I'm gonna scale it back in the axe again. Just like that, and pull it back. And scale in the X. Oh. Until it doesn't poke through. And just find the right position for it. Mm, yeah, okay. Um, now, is that part tilted backwards? That's the thing. I guess it is, right? It tilts back and everything tilts back. All right, so we're not, haven't looked at that yet. So let's, let's do that. I'm gonna accept that lattice, apply, and I'm gonna delete that, and I'm gonna rotate, I'm gonna put origin of geometry, and I'm gonna rotate this in the X a little bit back, like that. More? Yeah, let's sit back and enjoy ourselves like that. All right, and then I'm gonna take these guys, go into edit mode, and look from the side in wireframe, maybe the other side. Yeah, and I'm going to, oh, I got them, yeah. And I'm gonna rotate X those guys. Now, uh, that's all right, it's okay. And then I'll go back there. And then I'll just, I'll adjust. I just wanna think about if I like that. Uh, I think. I think they can go back more. Rotate X. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's getting there. Okay, guys. You back here. Oh, boy. You like that, roughly. That's a big curve, isn't it? You're gonna sit way back. You guys are all going back. What have I got? There's the mirror, eh? All right, let's let's make a decision about about these. This guy is going back further. All right, let's just do them independently, individually. All right, so let's uh, let's come in here and select. Uh, can I get that bottom edge? Do I have it? That's good enough. Let's put the 3D cursor right there. Let's rotate the X. Oh, what am I doing? Three cursor there, shift desk, cursor selected. Oh, I need a, oh geez. There we go. Put the three cursor right down there. Let's rotate that in the X. Put them back in. Eh, you're a bit tall, aren't you? All right. All right, this is what we wanted to know about. So let's scale this in the Z and rotate in the X. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Scale this in the Y. Make it smaller and thinner, and we'll move it into position. Just this the, the crazy stuff now. Just like that. Scale it in the Y again. These things are pretty thin. These pieces are thin. Let's take this guy. Let's get that off. I don't need that anymore. Let's scale this in a while. Let's make it a bit thicker. Yeah, as soon as I do that, I get that change that. Eh? All right, let's not do that. Let's just go with what we got here. That's okay. And then let's delete these and let's take this guy. Shift D. And bring one over here and bring it up a bit. And we'll just get the right positioning for this guy. Let's uh, rotate Y a little bit like that. You know, this kind of thing. But we'll also rotate in the Z. In there we'll just get it get it to fit we will try to get it to fit no not there how's that position not quite yet does it help if I go to normal myself a lot of room there. I don't quite like that. So I could go with something like that if I can get it in. All right, let's take uh, the chair. Uh, no, let's take this. Shift S cursor selected. And we'll mirror this with respect to that thing in the Y. Which is strange because <laughs> nah, that's a little funny looking there. Uh, what would happen if I didn't have those? What kind of chair would that be? That wouldn't be a weird that would be a weird chair, so. Um, okay, well, what I can do is I'll, I'll, uh, no, I can't move him any further back, can I? Let's just try something and see what would happen if I had these right there going up to that spot up there. That might be uh, something to do. Select those two faces and just you know, working things out as I go. You know, I don't have any definite, definite, definite plans here. I'm just thinking, it's my chair. I can design it any way I want to. It doesn't have to follow anything else. Oh, come on. All right, what if I did that? And what if I uh, let's get let's get out of there? Go, so we'll rotate the Z. What if I do this? Oops. Yeah, I could do that. I could make it actually a little bit closer. All right, it's just the fine tuning stuff.
crazy about that part, but uh, that's the way it's turned out. Uh, can I? Can I? There's one more thing I'm just thinking of. Nah, I don't think I'm going to change that. Okay. So let's grab this last piece here and move it to the first layer. And let's um, do that. And let's uh, rotate Y90. And let's see if we can get one of these guys in position. Now let's see how that's going to look. So where does that go? It does, it goes along, okay, the mid piece is there. Okay, so let's actually rotate uh, Z90. And I just need to make sure that I go from the, that shade of that one, that one. So the angle would be important. Oh, and whereabouts? Way down under or something like that. My design may be different, so uh, I could do it. Uh, I could do it around there. Um, so what I think I'll do. I think I'll go into edit mode, and I think I'll just try scale this in the Y. Let's see how she. See how she looks. Okay, if I did that. Okay, so let's look from the top view and in wireframe. And nah, that makes it harder for me. Let's just try bottom, by the way. Yeah, the bottom works good. Okay, so I have slightly different angles on my on my legs, so that's okay. I could could have done it numerically, but if I have that one there, I can just take the thing and just rotate the Z. Just play like that. Yep. Yep. Take the chair, seats, shift S, cursor selected, take that, and mirror across the seat to get that. And uh, we'll go ahead and apply that. And I'll go in and I'll just select one piece, control L, shift D, P to make a new object out of that thing. Select that one, origin geometry, and uh, let's say uh, rotate Z90. Let's see if it comes across. And how does that work? Ah, uh, yeah, well, you got a nice small, well, okay. Let's uh, scale this in the X. I pull it down. There, like that. Whew. Wow. Hmm. Well, let's try it with uh, our favorite matte cap and see how she looks. I mean, geez, I, I didn't model this before, and my drawing may not have been that great, but, you know, not crazy about that, the, these things, but. All right, well, I'm a little frustrated. Let's just, let's just fix this thing here and be done with it. All right, so that I don't have to be frustrated about it. And we can, we can do this too. I'm going to wireframe, I'm going to box select that, and then I'm going to box select that. I'm going to hit X, delete vertices and hit A to select it all and I'm going to scale in the X and that's going to make those regions bigger pull it out like that back in a solid view and we're going to touch things up here take this piece and I'm going to try to pull it back into those chairs into those side rails there 
fine good for that okay I'm gonna take these and I'm going to what am I gonna do? I'm gonna pull them forward a bit or that one forward anyhow adjust these a little bit until they all fit I'm gonna take this guy I'm gonna move it forward there easy fix and now I'm happier. Happier? How's this one doing? Yeah, let's move it back a little bit. Easy fix and I am happier. It looks, looks a little bit more realistic. I should have done that earlier, but I don't know why I didn't, but I, I've done it now. So, cool. There's a little kitchen chair. I don't know if I'm going to texture or put any materials on this. I just want to model it and... Uh, We'll see. Thanks for watching.